Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another Flutter series. In this series we will be developing a real-time messaging app based on popular movies. These movies are retrieved from an API and then stored in a Amplify data store and the entire back end of this app is running on AWS Amplify. So just giving you a quick demo of the app, we have a list view here with all of our chat rooms of the recent movies with an image uh, title and also the latest message if there is any we can come into here click one of the movies and then we can start typing a message so if we just type test here and this will then send the message to our real-time database and then our flutter app here is a, is observing that real-time database and then listening for any messages and we'll then pop them up onto the screen I then have this button up here, which is the detail screen, which will show the image of the film, the rating, and also the overview. The latest messages on here are updated in real time. So you can see the latest message for this is test, which I sent earlier, and the chat screen will also update in real time if any messages are received from other users. And then we just have a logout button here, which will log the user out. And then a login screen where you can put in their username and password and also a register screen where they can register for a new account. So now we're done with the demo, let's get started on building this app. So in the Amplify console, we want to go ahead and create a new app and we want to select build an app. For the app name, I'm going to call this Movie Talk YouTube. And then click Confirm Deployment. This will then go ahead and set up our backend and the Amplify Studio. This may take a few moments, so I will come back when this is completed. So once your project has been initialized, you will come to this screen here, and we just need to select Launch Studio. Then firstly, we're going to set up the authentication. So if we go over here into the sidebar and we select authentication. So we just want the default setup for our authentication. We're just using an email and password. So we can go over here and click deploy. One thing I'm going to do before that is just to lower the password um, security just to make it a bit easier when we create an account. Um, but you, do, you don't have to do this. I've uh, probably advised against it. And whilst we're waiting for this to deploy, we can then go ahead and set up our data models. So we're going to have three data models in this app, one for the user, one for the movie, and then one for the message. And this is going to contain all the data related to those models. So firstly, let's go ahead and create our user. For the user, we only need the ID and an email field, which will be a string. Then for the movie, we will need the ID, the image tag, which is going to be a string, the overview, which is another string, the rating, which is again a string, latest message, the latest message time, and the title of the movie. We then need the message, which will have the ID, the message, which will be the, the text, the from ID, which is the user that's sending the message, the timestamp, so when the message is being sent, and the movie ID. So this is the ID of the movie that the message is being sent under. And we also need to add another field to the message, which is from username, which will be displayed on the message bubble. So once all these models have been completed, we can hit save and deploy. So whilst this is being completed, we can then start to set up our project environment. So first we want to create a new directory for our project. So I'm going to call this 
Movie Talk YouTube. And we want to make two more um, directories in here. So I'm just going to cd in this, into this directory. So the first one is going to be backend. And the second one is going to be app, which will be for our Flutter app. So now our data models have been completed and deployed. The Amplify Studio should have already set up the API side of things for us as well. So if we go to home here, we should see a update API being completed and there would have also been a create one earlier on. So create API. And then we're going to use this to actually pre-seed our database. To view the API that's been created, we can go over to the main AWS console here and type app sync. And then we can see here movie talk YouTube staging. And this is the GraphQL API. So we can select functions here. And then what we're after is the create movie function here. We can see an example of this under queries. So if we go to query and then select mutation and then this plus icon here and then select create movie and then select all of the inputs that are required. And this is what we will use to create our movie. We're going to use a Node.js script. It's going to call in a movie API. And then once it gets all of the movies back, we then pass those movies and then run this GraphQL query to create the movie in our Amplify database. So in order to get the movies into our app, I'm going to use the movie database API. This will get a list of popular movies and also returns the data that we need. This API is free to use, but you will need to sign up and provide relevant details uh, about your app before you can get given a key. Um, but this isn't crucial to the development of this actual app, since we could just pre-populate um, the movie database in here, but just manually by hand if you wanted to, or you could use a different API. Um, there's no real reliance on the rest of the project. So in order to pre-seed the database, I wrote a simple script here in, in JavaScript. This is available on the GitHub and it's in the backend folder. So firstly, we just have two imports here, one for the request module, which will allow us to make an API request to our movie API in order to retrieve the movies. And this last one here is so we can use GraphQL when we're actually posting back to Amplify and then creating movies in our database. So here we're defining the params for our movie API. I'm going to put the API key in here along with the rest of the URL. We then make a request to that API. If there's an error, we're just going to log it here. We then pass the body of that response into JSON, get the movie list, which is under the results field. And then we're going to loop through the movie list and then create a request body, which is the GraphQL query that I showed you earlier. We're going to select create, create movie model. And then the input is going to be the image, the, and then the image from our movie list. The latest message and latest message time, we're just going to leave blank. We then get the overview from the movie list, the rating, which I turn into a string, the title, and that's everything we need to create the movie. In here, we are then going to post that request body to the AWS API. In order to get your details for your Amplify API, you will need to go to AWS App Console and then go to settings under AWS App Sync. And right here, we've got the API URL, the API ID, and then the API key. This is obviously going to be deleted by the time it's going on YouTube, so don't try to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and fill out those details in that script and get the database pre-populated.
Just a heads up, the API key will need to be inserted here under the headers. So it's an extra header called x-api-key and then the API key. So I'm going to be placing this script in the backend folder. This is also available with you on GitHub. And to run this, I'm going to be using Node. And firstly, we will need to run our imports. So it's going to be npm install request and then npm install isomorphic fetch. Then we should be able to run our script. So once the script is run, you should get an output like this, which just shows all of the movies that we created in the database. So we can see this movie had the image, uh, latest measure and leisure time was given blank, just what like we wanted. And then we have an overview, a rating, and a title. And we can see that all of the movies were successfully imported into the DB and we didn't receive any errors. Now, if you go back to your AWS Amplify console, and go to Amplify Studio and go to content and then we just refresh the movie database we should be able to see all the movies in our DB and here they are so we should have 20 movies in total and that is the back end completely set up the final thing I'm going to do in this video is just show you the dependencies that you will need to set up on the flutter side so these are the dependencies that we're going to need in order to create this app so we have our cached network image for loading images. The path provider and provider are used for the view models. And then we have our Amplify dependencies here for auth, analytics, data store, API, and Flutter. In the pubspec.yaml file, you will also need to define the assets section and the font section is here because I have an image for the login page, which is just this movie reel. You can use this or you can use another one. It's a free to use image. And I also have some, some fonts here, which are free to use. I got them from Google fonts, but you can also use your own. So you just need to define it like I've defined it here. So just exactly the same. All of this code is available on GitHub, which will be in the description. So if you're starting this from scratch, just create a blank Flutter project and then fill out the prospect.yaml the same way I've done and then we'll be starting the coding in the next video. So if you could join me in the next video, that would be great. Please like and comment and please subscribe.